Hi everyone, Russ here, service technician at Amley Art. Today we're going to be discussing fridge filters. One key thing that is very important to know is, is that you do have a filter status light that is here. And as you see, this one is green. It will have indicators whether it be orange or red. Now, even though that the water filter status light is red, does not actually mean that your filter needs to be changed. So what we're doing here is we're going to actually show you a, a filter that does need to be changed. So if you were to go and actually get water, and you were to see that you're not getting the normal amount of water that you're used to, as you can see here, there is a restriction in the flow of water and it taking a long time to fill up. So this filter actually does need to be changed. Even though the status light says green, they do not actually communicate with each other. This is simply on a basic time. So if you do in fact still have good water flow with your current filter, even though the light is red, you can simply just push the button five times within 10 seconds and it will actually change the status from red to green or yellow to green, whichever light may be on at the time. Now, if you do need a fridge filter, we're going to let you know exactly how and what you need to do to be able to change that. So first things first is the filter is actually located underneath your freezer door here. At the bottom, you'll see a little door and you can simply just pull back and you'll see that the fridge filter is here. You'll want to make sure you put down a towel because there will be a little bit of residual water once you pull the filter out. So you'll simply pull the filter out, the old filter, and with the new filter, if you notice on the bottom, there's arrows indicating which direction that it goes. So you'll pull the cap off. You'll want to make sure that the arrows line up with the arrows that are down here on this tab and you simply slide it in, make sure that it is lined up, and then you'll simply shut the door there. And now you will need to make sure that the freezer door is shut in order to be able to reset the light. So once that's done, you'll open the refrigerator door again, and you'll see the switch here, and you simply press one, two, three, four, five, and then you will see that it'll change from red, orange, back to green. And one last step, with a new filter, you're required to purge the, purge the air out of the system. So now, with the filter that was restricted before, you can see that we're getting adequate flow for the filter itself. You'll want to do this a few times. You'll want to make sure that all of the air is out of the system. You'll notice that it will spit and sputter a little bit. This is normal. You're just basically getting all the air out of the system. And once the water starts to actually run, you know, without any uh, air in it, um, you'll be okay. Now, it is actually required to run quite a bit of water through this once you actually change the filter. So my recommendation is, is if you have, you know, a, a nice decent sized pitcher or whatnot, you know, you can go ahead and run the water, fill it all the way up to the top, about four quarts of water is what they call for, and you're done. Then you simply just uh, use it as accordingly. 